Hello everyone, my name's um, Stuart and welcome to my shed. Um, today I'm going to be showing you around my allotment that I have here in South West London. Um, I've had it for just over two years now I think. Um, and yeah, it's, it's small but it works. And um, yeah, I'm going to give you a little tour and show you around. Let's go. So let's begin at the top of the plot. And um, up here I, I used to have, well you can see the remainder over there, there, there was all um, raspberries, but this whole bit was full of bindweed and cooch grass, all in amongst the raspberries, so, um, and to be honest with you, there was too many raspberries for my, for us to consume really. Um, so I made the decision to take a good two thirds of them out um, to make way for another bed. Um, but in front of that, you'll see there is two gooseberry bushes that I left that was there. And um, what I've done, I'm gonna, what I'm doing is I'm training them. I've cut quite a lot, I don't know if you can see. I've cut quite a lot of the, um, a lot of the branches out. And then I'm training them up, 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 up poles too, to make a kind of a fan of kind of gooseberries. I think it will make it easier to, for me to pick them and um, yeah, to look after them and to maintain them. And hopefully it will make quite a nice hedge going down this pathway here. And then below that, these are strawberries that I planted underneath the gooseberries because I thought the um, pigeons and the birds stay off them because of all the thorns from the um, gooseberries. So yeah, let's just walk around. And so, oh, and then, so as you can see right here, there's, there's the bags full of, um, full of all the raspberry canes and things that I've been taking out there. And um, this guy, but it's all, you know, all their kind of roots. And then I, what I try to do is to have a separate pot just for bindweed and. Look at all this bindweed, it's just like everywhere on my part, and also put the rubbish in there as well. And then I kind of throw that away. Um, so on the right here, yep, it's a bit of a mess canes and bricks and things. This is all going to be reworked. Um, and then over here, we still have the last of the white sprouting broccoli um let me see if i can get in here for you and if you can see look it's very nice it's just like purple sprouting broccoli um except it's white um <laughs> let me spin you around so this is all still in the process, it works. Well, I don't know if you can see here, but there's kind of a peg here. There's a peg there. There's one there. And there's one there. And this is where my greenhouse is gonna go, which is currently on order. Um, it's about an eight week delivery time scale. Um, right now, but um, yeah, so I've got to get this area prepped, ready to go, um, get a nice good base down, but as you can see I've started digging and working my way back, um, and then all this is going to be dipped, all dug over as well, um, and then split up into individual beds, which I'll show you what I've done just behind me um, and how this bit should look all bits yeah let me spin you around so this is what I'm going to do on the other side as well but this is what I've been doing all through winter is um, making these individual beds my plot used to be just one big kind of um, dug over ground and um, I found it really difficult to just to 
keep it neat and tidy so I thought by dividing it up into individual beds just make things easier for me um, this bed here that I've been showing you is going to have um, brassicas in this season um, this is the little um, raised bed that I made well it's not so, it's not so little it's quite big actually but um, yeah what I've done is um, I've edged it with all chives if you can see him all little chives and in amongst this I'm gonna put um, well I've planted actually well sown should I say um, carrots all the way along here here and here uh, rice up autumn king nonce here and chantonet here which is the kind of like the short ones that you get um, and then on the other side three rows of parsnips I only planted only, only sown them a couple of days ago so nothing's really showing yet but in between the rows so this is a parsnip this is a parsnip but in between the rows I've, just, I've sown some um, turnips um, and you can see there on that peg I've just marked it so I know um, then let's go over. So over here, this is some um, beetroot that I sown back last year. I think back in August, and it um, and it and it um, germinated and came from. And I've been looking after it over autumn, over the winter and the autumn. Um, and I covered it. And um, yeah. Hopefully we'll get some early beetroot with that. It seems to be it seems to be you know bulbing up. So hopefully there's some really early beetroot there. Um, and then here, well I actually watered last night. You can see where the water still is. In this bed as well, next to the beetroot, there is two rows of um, shallots, and there's my garlic. It was a bit late so in planting the um, shallots and garlic and onions this year just because well I've been doing lots of work and there's been there's been no space to put them really. Um, and let's come to the next bed. Look this lovely little tulip here. Yeah. I don't know how it got here. I didn't. Hi. Hey. Sorry, um, some plot holders came by, so I had to stop the video. Um, yeah, I was just saying this tulip. Isn't it lovely? I don't know how it got here. I didn't plant it, but um, it's here, being wonderful. So, she can stay. Um, and yeah, in between there, I planted my onions. And edging them two beds is some parsley that I planted last year. Um, and it's doing great. It's great to be picking parsley all the time. Um, it's great just throwing in, throwing in all sorts of dishes. Um, here behind me, I don't know if you can see, I planted peas, but they've been in for a couple of weeks and nothing's happened. So I think it's either a bad batch of seeds, maybe lack of water, I don't know. But um, I don't think I'll be doing peas. I think I'm gonna do something else there. Um, let me just spin you around. Um, and then I don't know if you can see, it's got one, two, three bits. They are full of um, potatoes and, um, well yeah, it's because I'm trying to do the beds with potatoes in every year just to get the ground looser and open up a bit more because this is quite um, heavy soil here, so I don't know if you can see like, all the lumps and chunks and everything, it just doesn't... It's quite tough soil to work. Um, and then behind me, I have like a little herb and kind of flower and fruit little garden. Um, and yeah, in there, there is, there's rhubarb, there's a black currant, 
the white currant, the red currant, um, lemon balm in there, fennel, um, lots of flowers. There's a dahlia, um, honeysuckle. Um, oh, and these bricks here, I'm, I'm actually going to be making paths with up near the top there. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, oh, oh, sorry, I forgot to say, it's also a grape there, and um, it's a tay berry, I can't remember, I, I kind of adopted it, so um, yeah, not too sure what it is, but it's tasty. Um, and then there, there's the shed. <laughs> sorry if it's been a bit rough, a bit of a rough ride for you, but um, it's my first time, so I wasn't too sure. Yep. Yeah.